Okay, hey, Bob. <laughs> um, you retweeted, uh, Steve Bannon says Mark Esper should go to prison. You said the free speech absolutists want to send people to prison for criticizing their game show Messiah who reported treason through proper channels and not book deals. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, and plus, they're so ridiculous. What, who was it yesterday? Travis, Rick Scott called for Biden to resign. This is like their oh, only play. Every that. time they have a, a hearing, I call on you to resign, you know, Secretary. Who's the uh, Secretary of Defense? Um, Esper. No. Oh. No, now. Uh, I mean, that's their Lloyd only Austin. play. They're yeah, so ridiculous. Austin. They call on everybody to resign. Like, you have yeah. to re They're just such idiot it's, drama queens. It's Saying something for the sake of saying something right. is what that one is. Calling for someone to resign. Yes, okay, that's what's going to happen. Oh, yes, okay, I'll resign now. That's never going to happen right. like it that. It tickles the base in the... They asked Biden about you know. it yesterday. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. To, to President Biden. Okay, before, here we go. Yes. Called out Rick Scott a little while ago in your remarks. Earlier today, anticipating your remarks, he said, and I'm just quoting here, that... Uh, the best thing, most effective thing Joe Biden can do to solve the inflation crisis he created is resign. He's the problem. Resign. The senator added That's later. The senator added later. Joe Biden is unwell. He's unfit for office. He's incoherent, incapacitated, and confused. These are his words. Offering you a chance to respond. I think the man has a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. That goes without saying. Rick, do we have? Wait, where is it? Rick Scott. Yes, yeah, sixteen. I. This is just okay. Here we go. I think what all Floridians know is this president has no ability to deal with inflation. Oh, please. In the private sector, oh, it's coming down, by the way. When you have already. a CEO that doesn't have the ability to deal with something, they resign. They go on and do something else. Joe Biden ought to do the exact same thing, oh and that's the only way we're ever going to get inflation under control in this country. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone said yesterday, when the price of your TV goes up, do you blame the sales guy at Best Buy? I mean, yeah. okay. Someone tweeted there. Stephanie Miller, you need to resign from your show. I yeah. Do. And that, now well, I'm like, that's a different pew, story. You're out the door. Pyoing. Pyoing. <laughs> <Pion. laughs> oh, yeah. Like, Pion. A, like a rocket yeah. ship. I need to resign. <laughs> Yoink. You're Yoink. out. Um, um, no, I was going to say. See how that I works? Mean, the inflation is all over the world. Someone in Sweden tweeted. They're like, we're not calling on our prime minister to resign. It's like, it, 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 this is Pion. worldwide. Thank you. Pyoing. <laughs> Anyway, I, but that literally yeah. is every play, every time there's a hearing. Secretary of Defense, mm -hmm. you need to resign. Oh, you need to. I mean, it's just it's they're not serious people, right? Yeah, it's just. Yeah. It, well, I, and by the way, the inflation numbers are coming down already. And and <coughs> yeah. anyway, everyone that understands anything knows it is a worldwide problem, right? I mean, it's mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. Absolutely. And, and going back to Mark Esper real quick, it's just the height of cynicism yeah. to have that kind of information. I mean, I understand that. Maybe since you're serving at the pleasure of the president while you're working in the administration, you maybe don't say something right then and there. Yeah. But as soon as that administration is over, you find the next nearest microphone and set of cameras and start blabbing what you know. Yeah. If it's that important, well, if Donald Trump was really considering shooting protesters in the legs and bombing Mexico, that's uh, yes. something we need to understand. These are illegal orders, Bob. I mean, I'd go further yeah. than that. Horse Whisperer tweeted, uh, it should be illegal for federal employees to profit from books about crimes they didn't report. Yeah. I mean, right. I, I, yeah. Well, yeah. Also, there's yeah. do what Vinman did. You can file a, a complaint, the, yeah. the, you know. A, yeah. Go through the channels and right. file it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a whistleblower. Um, yeah. Bob, would you like to go through just a couple? Uh, Trump was concerned during his first year in office about China possibly sending hurricanes to the U.S., and he asked multiple administration <coughs> officials about responding militarily. Are you talking about the weather weapons moving <laughs> tiny hurricanes around with the tiny airplanes? Tiny airplanes helicopters? pushing around yeah. the weather. <laughs> Obama controlling the weather to attack an Oklahoma town. Is that what he was doing? The repeated President G working with Obama and Biden. And the lesbians yes. to move the tornadoes. Yes, and the lizard people. <laughs> the lizard They're... people from outer space. <laughs> the repeated inquiries led some in the administration to refer to it as the then president's hurricane gun thing. It was almost too stupid for words, said a former official who, of course, wished to remain right. anonymous. I did not get the sense he was joking at all. Another former official claims Trump uh, recommended nuking hurricanes. We remember that one, but this yes, was a different yes. thing where he thought China could send uh, hurricanes. Yeah. Oh, it, it, he absolutely wanted to nuke hurricanes. Shoot the hurricanes that China was sending. Yeah. He absolutely wanted to nuke hurricanes, and he wanted to buy Greenland. We, we Now, especially now, after your stories, yes. mm -hmm. As absolutely 100% true. Yeah. And as you know, Greenland is a strategic place. It got a lot of 
Got a lot of minerals up there. Valuable minerals. <laughs> as Larry yeah. Cullalo would say. Does anyone know why I was named Cullalo? That was particularly hard, hard to play. pronounce. Greenland is a strategic place well, well. up there. That is a lot of tequila uh, with which to say me, valuable I'm minerals. Cullalo. I'm calling you from the inside of a mimosa. I have a question for Chris Lavoy. Hi, right, Chris. I'm Larry calling from inside of Mimosa. All right, we have to go. Get out, Bob, and go okay, do the bye. Bob Seska show so I can listen to it on my bike ride. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Bye-bye.